Hey guys, Tracy from Crochet Rosetti. Um, coming on, see how everybody's doing, touch and base, share a few things that I've been working on. Um, my Crojo's been a little bit lately with everything going on. You would think that that would be something that I would work more on. I did accomplish some stuff. Um, <clears throat> I just feel numb with everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, and I just don't don't want to see it. It's just scary. Uh, and I hope you all are well and it's not affecting you too hard. Um, <clears throat> my husband luckily is still working. Um, although he's working less hours, he is still working. And uh, that's scary. But let's talk projects because I don't, I don't have any new yarn. I'm actually petrified to order any because I don't want any deliveries. <laughs> I mean, the crate just went out, but anyway. <laughs> so I finished my crescent shawl. I started working on that maybe last week, maybe the week before. Could have been two weeks ago. It's been over a week since I did a video. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I still gotta weave in the ends. I haven't blocked it, but I love it. And it's a knitted pattern and it's by um, Red Heart or um, Yawnspirations. Um, very easy, uh, beginner friendly in my eyes because I'm a beginner. <laughs> but um, yeah, I finished that. I love the way the yarn worked up. Um, this was the Picasso. Um, do we have any close by? We do. This was the Picasso. Um, I love the yarn. It's really soft. Um, I didn't mind the um, the thick, when it went from like thick to thin. Um, I didn't mind that. Um, it knit nice. The only problem I had was I ran into a few knots while I was working. And um, at one point when I was working on my project, I looked down and the yarn was just split. So uh, one of the um, <clears throat> knots must have come undone. So I had to stop real quick and knot back up before I ended up wasting a week's worth of work. <laughs> but I do love the yarn, so I'm gonna try, maybe it was just a bad um, cake, um, but it's so soft. Like, I don't even really care, like it just, it's beautiful yarn, but I would prefer not to have to deal with knots. Um, especially while I'm knitting because I'm a new knitter. <laughs> so <coughs> that's, that's done. And another knitting project I started yesterday is, um, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> hats not hate. So I started knitting a hat. I'm not really following a pattern. I just did a, um, knit two purl two for the first few rows. Then I went into the knit stitch. Then I did like a couple rows of purl, then some more knit. Then I did some more purl just to give it a little personality per se. <coughs> so that's, and I'm using these knit picks needles. Um, they're metal. Um, they're pretty. <laughs> I, they're okay, but uh, someone told me to try um, Shigu, so I ordered one. And these are like the best knitting needles ever. <laughs> and the, this part here is flexible, so it's not um, overly stiff. So I liked them so much, I, uh, I actually purchased some more. So I'll show you that at the end. But, <clears throat> got the ahem bug. Um, as far as crochet goes, um, I'm still working on squares um, for my new blanket. And it's gonna be a smaller size blanket because I just really don't feel like taking on a big project right now. But I have some of the squares together. And then what I think I'm gonna do is do, um, <clears throat> alternate in these colors a few rows for a border and just to make it more like a lapkin. 
and that there I'm using um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Shine and my Clover. What size hook is this? 5.0, I believe. So yeah, I'm still working on that. Guys, I'm still working on that Hobie shawl. I'm so over it. It's like the longest project ever. I feel like I'm getting nowhere. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I don't wanna frog it, because I don't think that yarn's gonna frog easy. Maybe I'll just put it aside for a little while and then go back to it. <clears throat> so, crochet, crochet, crochet. What else do I have for you? I made last week a flamingo. Why? Because I needed something small, fun, and brainless. And the tail is just a bunch of chains and slip stitches, so is the wings, <clears throat> the hair. The legs are a little quirky. Again, I wasn't put too much thought into it, but uh, huh, his little beak, a little sassy little flamingo, my husband said. <laughs> it's a sassy little flamingo. Yep, yep. And I made another mask, which ended up being too big. Um, so that's not gonna work. And it's too small for my husband. So, um, maybe I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do. It might be a toss or use it as a rag. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm really excited about this project that I started this week. And it's so easy, you guys. And everybody can make this. I know you can. Ooh, what's on his beard? Little fuzz. Isn't he so stinky cute? so easy so what I did is I did a five row increase for the bottom and I just kept crocheting up see there's no change in the colors there you just keep crocheting up until you're ready to do your decreases then I did <clears throat> um, an every five stitch decrease and then I did a couple more rows then I did another five and as I got closer to the top I did um, smaller decreases to kind of cone it up. And then this rim here is just, I crocheted, um, single crochet into the head part. I did double crochet increase. And then I just added a few increases here and there just to give it a little fluff. So that was more. And then this is just like a chain four slip stitch into the next stitch, chain four. And the beard, again, my go-to for hair is chains and slip stitches, working your way around the nose and then coming out, working back around, coming out and working back around. And that was 20 chains. <clears throat> the nose is just a two row um, increase, chain three, six single crochet, two row increase, and then just crochet till your nose is as large as you want it hands <clears throat> was a one row uh, chain three six single crochet one row of increase and then one row regular and then working with your colored yarn to make the arms the feet I did chain three six single crochet I did two increase rows and then I worked till I got the size foot I wanted I stuffed it I sewed it at the bottom here, and then I sewed it into the bottom of him. It's really easy, really easy. Like I still think I could totally write a pattern for this one because it's so stinking easy. But look how he sits. He's like a little, he's a stubby little gnome. <laughs> he makes me happy. I wanna make some more. Oh, I love him. I love the stubby one. I used to love making them with the long legs, but the legs and arms, when you make them oversized, it's like tedious. It's just never ending. Oh, and the blue hat that I'm making is done with Wool Spun Lions brand. I have two um, things of this, so I'm gonna make two hats. I don't think I'll do another knit hat. I think I'll crochet the next hat. So, 
Now, acquisitions. I was watching everything knit and crochet with Kit and she purchased some bags from, let's see if you can see that. That person right there, hopefully you can see it. And I absolutely loved the theme of the bags. So I ordered some, <laughs> why? Don't ask, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the very nice maid and she um, personalizes them for you. So it says Crochet Rosetti on it and this is the Alice in Wonderland one. I love this. She does a beautiful job. I got the Little Red Riding Hood and I've already used this one. This one's my favorite. I got my little llama pin on it. Is uh, the Wizard of Oz and this one says Crochet Rosetti too. So I ordered three bags. Um, <clears throat> total came to about a hundred bucks, a little over a hundred bucks with shipping. But, uh, oh, I ordered this one too. No, I didn't order this. This was a gift. I don't think I ordered this one. She sent me gifts, guys. Like, so my husband, I hope this wasn't a mistake. Yeah, she sent me this bag here. It's a little, like a little hat project bag. She sent me this as a gift and I just received an email from her. I don't know when she sent it, but recently um, saying that they was not an error. It was a gift from her and she hoped I enjoyed it and I do. And then this little bag here and then a little notions pouch. How cool is that? My husband was like, that was really nice of her. It was, it was very nice of her. <clears throat> means I will definitely go back and buy more bags. Um, and again, I said that I tried the, the Shigu knitting needles and I really did like them. So when I shop, food shop or shop in general, I have an Amazon card that I use. And with every purchase, I get, I think it's 2% back, but if I shop Whole Foods, I get 5% and I always let the points add up. <clears throat> I had a ton of points. I bought myself some Shigu knitting needles. And so I didn't even spend a dime on them. <laughs> and uh, this packaged very nicely. Inside there, and it's got the, um, <clears throat> the, um, the thingy things, those things. You know those things? <laughs> and then in the front pocket, came with, um, I don't, <clears throat> these look like little tool things or something. I don't know. I have to look up to see what those are. And then it came with, um, I like these, um, circle, um, knitting stitch markers. And then one of these, which is going to come in handy because they don't have the size on them. <clears throat> so I thought that was nice. It was free. <clears throat> Oh, I forgot to put this back in. And then I ordered some tool. I think it's called tool because I think I'm going to get back into making more um, dolls and critters and stuff like that. So I got um, all of these colors here. And I was thinking that would make good skirts or um, let me see if I can tell you how much those cost. Um, skirts. Um, maybe a little something for the hats and stuff when I make them. So I'd really like to get back into doing some more of that because with what's going on right now, I feel like that would be a nice happy project. Um, so I paid $13.99 with free delivery. <coughs> so that's not bad. So yeah. That's what I got. I just downloaded a couple auto, Audible books because I'm getting sick of TV. <clears throat> I downloaded a new book on my Kindle. Um, the ones that I got on Audible. Do I have those? You have to see. 
Um, I just finished Rachel Kane's uh, Bitter Falls. Um, <clears throat> if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know that a tree came down on my street, knocked down telephone wires and electrical wires. It was a huge tree. So we were out, had no electricity for like, it was like five or six hours. So me and my husband um, sat and listened to the rest of my book, which was uh, Rachel Kane, Bitter Falls. I have to look up the next one in the series and then um, download that. But today I downloaded, because I had points on my Audible, um, I ordered the, the Bone Collector. I mean, not the Bone Collector, The Bone Farm by Dean Kuntz. So I think I'll start listening to that. And then on my, we might actually lose electricity today too, the news people said. Um, which one did I? Um, where's my library? I had to charge it, so I haven't used it in a while. <clears throat> so what do I have over here? Come on. Um, Why is it not on here? I did order one, but it's not showing up. Why, I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Anyway. So, I'm getting ready to do some reading or some listening to books. And I'm um, going to work on some more gnomes. Um... I'm running out of things to watch. So if you have any suggestions, leave a comment below. And um, I hope everybody's staying healthy and stay home. The only way we're gonna get through this is if we all just stay home. I really wish my husband's work would close, but he works for UPS. They'll, they'll never close, but yep. Very weird time. I wake up in the morning with a knot in my belly and a funny feeling in my chest. <clears throat> and it just, it seems so surreal that you feel like someone's just gonna pinch you and wake you up and well, but on a better note, I'm spending time with my kids. We're doing more cooking, um, more conversation because they're home more. Um, trying to not get stressed out about stupid stuff. You know, I kind of, laid back with the school stuff a little bit, as long as I can get at least two hours worth of something educational out of them a day. Um, I'm happy with that because this is a stressful time for them too. And I don't want my house turning into a war zone, um, right? especially not right now. So I hope everybody has a good day um, and a crafty day. And uh, if you don't know, I have a Facebook group called Crochet Rosetti. We can come and share your projects. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Crochet Rosetti, Pinterest, Crochet Rosetti. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, thumbs up, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.